Hello and welcome to a new video. In this video, we are going to see how to customize your high level CSS to make it look like your brand. So for this, we are going to need a Chrome extension. So let me show you that. Um, here, okay, so this is how Go High Level looks without any customization. It looks great. Uh, you shouldn't spend too much time customizing, but if if you want to uh, stand, you know, from from your uh, from your competition, well, maybe it's it's better to make a brand. So the first thing to do is go to settings in your agency settings. Then here we have the profile. This is not to customize the all the account. This is just to customize this little icon here. So you have to go to company. Okay. So in company, we are going to see this company logo that I already added. So you just have to change it and it will show up right in the corner, in the left corner. And this is also the name of your company. So make sure you add something, um, something good because it's going to show in every email that you, when, when you create a new account, this will show up. Uh, my marketing just created you a new account. And well, this email, you don't need to worry about that, not even the company phone, but maybe to use custom values later, I will explain something about uh, about that. And to connect your wide level domain, uh, this is to connect your wide level, wide level domain. So instead of, of showing at dot go high level dot com, it will show up as app dot my marketing dot VIP because that's my that's my subdomain. And for this, we need to go to the DNS and I'm going to create um, a new video or I'm going to show some of the go high level support documents videos about how to connect your wide level domain. For this, you will need a uh, Cloudflare and, and you should buy everything in, in Cloudflare. Like I recommend to buy Cloudflare. You want a premium support, I will recommend to go with namecheap.com. So that's to buy domain domains and Cloudflare is to, uh, this is Cloudflare. And this is to modify all of the DNS on all of that settings. You'll see that in another video. And API domain, that's for all of the uh, all of the forms. When you create a preview for the forms, that's also a, a wide level domain. So I created app and API uh, dot my market VIP. So you can create link or whatever you want. And yeah, for the privacy only, whatever you want, terms and condition, that doesn't matter. But you'll see here in custom JavaScript and custom CSS, this is where you are going to add um, a, a little code that I'm going to give you to modify the entire the entire um, dashboard of Go High Level. So yeah, let me let me show you this. And well, I'm going to give you the bonus um, in, in, in a notion. You'll see custom Go High Level. And, and I recommend you to use this uh, Chrome extension that is called Live Editor for CSS, Less and SAS, and SAS Magic CSS. And well, once you, you have it, it will show up here. So just make install and and, and also um, add it to, to, the, to, to, to your Chrome extension in here. So for this, let's customize the theme, the theme CSS. So just copy all of this. See, let's add, and before adding it, we can do something that is open the loading magic CSS and we can add it here. You see, we already modify all of the dashboard. You can see here. So we can go, for example, to, to this account and we can see how it looks. And it looks like this. So what you can do is you see all of the colors here. You can change it too. You can change. So to whatever color you want, see? So it's very easy, it's very easy just to modify all of the colors like this, looking like this. So this is for the letters, divider by background, you know? So you just have to modify that, and that will make your account. You can still use the same as me, but if you if you want to if you want to use it like that, you just can you can do it. But for example, if I leave it as it is, it's going to show up like this. Okay, so maybe we want to change the text color, and you see all of the text color here, and maybe like this. So I recommend you to hire someone to to, to modify this, but you already have uh, the CSS. So once you finish, you you will have to copy. Control C, copy, and then go again to your agency view. 
agency view company and then you just have to paste it we can close this again and update company and we can do control and ff5 a hard refresh hard refresh and then we can we can see all of the changes uh, of, of the account so other thing that, that you can that you can do is modify the loader loader css so that means we can have like a, a small fabicon uh, a small logo um, loading okay so let, let me show you how this looks so let's go to loader css copy everything copy everything and then we can paste it right at the end paste it okay and and this one this url this URL, uh, it's in here. Yeah, this this URL, you have to modify it with your own logo. But let me show you how this looks for me. So let me do a hard refresh so you can see the login. Uh -huh. Let me refresh it. Okay, so there, there was a little error here. So it's URL. And then just the the logo uh, the logo URL and okay let's click update company this let's do a hard refresh quickly and you see it shows Dentrica that was my my my, my niche brand for the for the dentist but you know I, I can I can pull I can add a different URL and for this I have a little trick you can go to an account to whatever account you want for example I go to SAS Academy then let's go to settings and you see here that is called media in the settings account of the sub account let's go to media open media library and with goha level you have also unsplash pixabay all of those um all of, all of those image researchers but here another thing that you can do is upload them a logo so for example um we can upload the file and then once we upload it it will show up here and we can click a uh, right click get link once we get the link we go back to the company settings so now that we are in the company settings we are going to add the url in here we're going to paste it and then we click update company and then let's do a hard refresh again. Okay, let's do a hard refresh. Okay, I see what is happening. The logo is too big. So the recommended uh, size is 350px and 180px. So what we can go to image, um, image resize. I love IMG image resize and we can select an image. So for example, this one, and we can res resize to 350, 350, okay, 350 and 180, it was 180. Oh, we can, we can do it like that and re resize image, download the resize image. So we can do the same, go to media, upload it. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I did it, I have the URL. I'm going to add it to, to, to here. And then if we refresh, you'll see I have my logo as pulsating. So it looks amazing, right? Like instead of, of, the, of these dots, uh, of course it's going to show up and then it is going to show up your logo. And it looks pretty cool. Uh, another thing that, that we can add is the login team CSS. So this is very simple. You will, you will have to modify um the the url so for this you see url so you have to modify that for the background and it's going to look something like that so sign into your account so you i recommend you to add uh, a, a small like um uh, a small gif because it looks pretty amazing a gif and your logo you can add uh, a background in, in in black so let me show you how go high level login looks it looks very uh very boring so once you add this uh, this amazing CSS, it's going to look uh, like like that. Uh, another thing that you can add uh, is the the favicon. 
yeah and for this it's very simple you just have to copy this this thing and then add it here but i think with the with the latest um with the latest update we, we can we can have the fabicon inside the but um, as default in in the in the account but maybe the, this one is is not uh good enough so what you can do is use this uh this css and then add it to the to the css settings and then you can modify it okay and i recommend you to use this one because it's, it's pretty good uh it's, it looks really nice and yeah so let's see you in a in, a, in another video and i also have a, a bonus also and this is um a, a secret that i use is is because i'm always changing my, my account so i use the team builder and this is from the marketers for go high level and i will give you the, the link here but this is this is going to make it very simple to modify your your all of your your sidebar sas uh, sas teams your login team so i'm, I'm currently using one uh, loading animation so instead of of, of doing the, the css you can you can you, you can already doing these animations in your account also dashboard dashboard graphs uh, you have presets uh show or no show some of the launchpad settings uh rename a new item so that's going to be if, if you want to to have a different style of, of your of your go high level so the pricing is, is good uh, i think they already they have a lifetime deal so i really recommend you to get it uh it's, it's it's really really nice but so far i don't recommend you to invest in that i'm going to be completely honest uh, i'm not the, the kind of affiliate that that uh, that that tries to, to to make you pay and pay uh, and pay more so i recommend you to to use my, my css that i'm giving to you you can customize it very simple add some logos um and match your brand and then then once you once you have more clients then you can buy the marketer toolkit customizer because it's game changer for me it was really nice uh so so yeah if you have any questions uh, please go um uh, ask me a question in, in the in the uh, i have my my little widget here you can send me a message like you are just one click uh one click to send me a message and yes this is all of the bonus uh it, it looks here sas nice asado affiliate bonus and make sure when you log in uh, I'm going to um, complete the form, join our, our free Facebook group, and also click this link, and it's going to show up this ref MMVP, uh, and you, you have to you have to click that you, you have to clear your cookies, and then sign up with with this um, with this ref. If you don't sign up with this with, with that ref, I, I'm not going to give you the bonuses. I'm not going to give you that. Um, but if you have any questions that, and you are not my affiliate, you are free to to send me a message. And another thing that you are going to get if, if you sign up with my affiliate, it's a uh, complete uh, uh, the link of uh, a wiki that I have with all of the all, all of informations about how to sell SaaS without demos, with demos, how to activate your SaaS users, building your SaaS offer. So you see, we have we have a, a lot of things. We also have some SaaS websites from um, other Go High Level members that I funnel hacked uh, uh, and I created. For example, this one, the Dragon is pretty amazing, and they are they are. They, they did like a complete full customizations of their account. So let me show you how Lead Dragon looks because it's, it's really cool. But you're going to have all of that in, 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 in here. You see, SaaS free tips, get go high level athletes, SaaS prospecting, customize your size, all of that in, in this uh, in this library. But, but you see, this website from Lead Dragon is pretty amazing. I, I'm not saying you should do it, you should do this, but. Um, but yeah, um, this is what you can do with with Goha Level. They have more than 100 SaaS users. They are a, a, an experiential to all of the all of the community of Goha Level, and they created a lot of a lot a lot of of, of things. So you see here, for example, um, let me show you how they have it. But it looks pretty good. You see that the, the dashboard looks amazing, and that's with the with the customizer, and also these little gifts they they made it. Um, so yeah, they they have a, a lot of a lot of things so so yeah i'm going to give you also that uh that for sure and all the css uh, so let me know if you have any questions